hear all these love songs and poems and stuff that talk about how love has died, and I think it's a crock. I think love, real love, is stronger than that. Oh, you can kill infatuation and lust and attraction. You can definitely do things that destroy relationships, but the pain that destruction causes shows that love is stronger than us. See, I'm a follower of Christ Jesus, and I believe the Bible, and the Bible says that God is love, and if God is love, then love is immensely powerful. If you hear nothing else, hear this. God loves you with an unbreakable love. Now, you can choose to reject his love if you want to, but why would you want to? You are loved by the creator of the universe. You are highly valued to him. He sacrificed his only son, Jesus, out of that love for you. A lot of people have a hard time believing that. Sometimes it's because of some hurt or pain they've experienced. And when that happens, they blame God. But the truth is, God didn't intend for that to happen. He didn't create the world to be this way. He created us to love us and so that we would love and worship Him. But love without choice is not love. And so He gave us a choice to accept or reject His love. The struggles we face in this world are the result of actions of generation after generation of people who've chosen to see God's love and turn away. We're all impacted by the choices of others and our own choices, and when we choose to reject God's love, the relationship is broken, but God's love remains. You say, well, why doesn't God do something about it? He did. He gave His Son to restore the broken relationship and reconcile us to God. Some people have a hard time believing in God's love because they know they've done things to break the relationship. And that may be true, but God's love remains. The Bible says it this way, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. See, sin brought death into the world and it breaks our relationship with God, but God's love is stronger. And so God gave his only son, Jesus, to die in our place. And if we accept that that sacrifice was for us, if we believe in Jesus, he restores our relationship with God. Romans 8, 38 and 39 says it this way, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There's nothing you've done that God can't forgive, nothing that can break God's love for you. Jesus died in your place for what you've done. When you accept him, he washes your past away. When you accept him, you accept God's love. You can't kill love. You say, but wait, you said you can't kill love, and God is love, and Jesus is his son. So Jesus is God, and he died. People killed him. How can you say you can't kill love? Well, Jesus himself gave the answer in John 10, 17, and 18. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the authority to lay it down and the authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. See, 2,000 years, people have been trying to place blame for killing Jesus. The truth of the matter is the blame lies with us all because Jesus died for our sins, but no one could have killed him. He is God. He made the choice and laid down his life out of perfect love for you and for me. He had the authority to lay down his life because he loves us, and three days later, he took it up again. He rose from the grave, and if we will trust in him and believe in him, so will we. You can't kill love.